Just the four former Minneapolis police officers involved in the death of George Floyd are now charged federally, accused of violating Floyd's constitutional rights. Derek Chauvin is still awaiting sentencing, and the other three are still awaiting their trial. Lauren Lemanchek is here now to explain what this means for all of their cases moving forward. Lauren? Julie, these charges accuse the officers of violating George Floyd's civil rights by using excessive force and by not offering medical aid. But Chauvin now also faces an indictment in yet another case where he allegedly kneeled on a person. Just weeks after Derek Chauvin was convicted of murdering George Floyd, he and three former officers now face federal charges. They allege that Chauvin used unreasonable force by kneeling on George Floyd's neck, that Tu Tao and Alexander King failed to intervene to stop him, and that all four officers willfully failed to aid Floyd, resulting in his death. Tao, King, and Thomas Lane are still awaiting trial on state charges that include aiding and abetting second-degree murder. Former federal prosecutor Mark Osler says these new indictments could impact that trial. There could be a lot going on that we don't know about, including negotiations as to what the sentence will be, a universal plea that will wrap all of this up in one agreement and probably result in federal sentences for all four of them. Ben Crump, the Floyd family's attorney, said they are encouraged by these charges and eager to see continued justice in this historic case that will impact black citizens and all Americans for generations to come. Chauvin was also indicted on a new case, a similar incident involving a 14-year-old boy back in 2017. Prosecutors allege Chauvin struck the juvenile multiple times in the head with a flashlight and held his knee on the neck and upper back of the boy, who was lying prone, handcuffed, and unresisting. Bob Bennett, who represents the alleged victim's family, says Chauvin should have been charged years ago. And of course, they would have liked consequences to have befallen Chauvin earlier. And I, I think every citizen of Minneapolis should have, have that same view because uh, maybe George Floyd didn't have to die. Now, if he's convicted in the charges related to Floyd's death, Chauvin would serve the prison time simultaneously to his state sentence. But if he's convicted of also assaulting that 14-year-old, that could add additional time behind bars. Julie? Well, those other three former officers, they're supposed to stand trial on August 23rd. This could obviously affect that date, right? That's right, Julie. I did speak to another former federal prosecutor, Tom Heppelfinger, who says he thinks it's likely this delays that trial. So that, that, that date remains to be seen. All right. Thank you, Lauren.